It's a great privilege to be with you this day. And welcome to this edition of Open Heavens Reflection based on daily devotional written by Pastor Hia Deboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God Worldwide. My name is Foyike Solani, and I'm a pastor with Christ of Assembly, a parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Oxford. Our topic is Value Giver. And the passage is taken from the book of Colossians, chapter 1, from 15 to 18. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible. Whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things, and in him all things consist, and he is the head of the body, the church, which is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he may have the preeminence. Hallelujah. Memory verse, the same chapter, Colossians chapter 1, verse 18. And he is the head of the body, the church, which is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that all things he may have the preeminence. May the Lord have preeminence in all things, in my life, in your life, in our nation, in our families, in Jesus' name. Our reflections. I believe we all want to do things that have value in every area of our lives. Can you remember that sometimes you have embarked on some exercises and at the end of what you thought were brilliant efforts, nothing was actually recorded to your credit. Did you check whether you pressed start at the beginning of the exercise? That is how it is with our spiritual journey. However well you perform and however well-meaning your efforts might have been, if you did not have the right foundation, no value is added. Moses, according to our Father in the Lord, Pastor Ihe Adeboye, was an outstanding carrier of the glory in his time. In fact, the Bible recorded that he was one man that knew how to speak to God mouth to mouth. That shows a high level of intimacy with the Lord. But the journey started on a particular day in the book of Exodus chapter 3, when he saw the burning bush. He, has an, he had an encounter with the Lord that changed his life forever. Have you been moving around with men of God and as a result you thought you are a child of God? You need a personal encounter with the Lord and the journey must start one day. That represents your foundation. Or are you listening this moment? You cannot recall when you actually gave your life to the Lord Jesus Christ then you need to think that it is something that you should make a decision about today. Let us consider 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 10, that there is no other foundation that can be laid except that which is laid in Christ Jesus. It is after building that foundation that we can start to build something of value on it because it is Jesus that can add value to all our lives. Who is your foundation? Are you thinking that because your parents are pastors that you are automatically a, you know, a child of God or you, you automatically have the right foundation? Or maybe because you are born into a Christian home, you think that has made you a Christian? Sorry, it does not work that way. You have to come to the Lord yourself and make a personal commitment to receive him as your Lord and Savior. And my prayer is that that decision will be made today. You will not delay any longer in Jesus' name. If you have never done that before, join me as I pray with you today. Lord, thank you for those who are saying this prayer with me. Lord, as, you come, as, as they come to you today, save their lives and write their names in the book of life. But I pray in the name of Jesus that as many that have determined in their hearts, to know you better, to have the right foundation. May they know you for themselves in Jesus' name. Thank you, our Father and our Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Continue in the strength of the Lord and let Jesus 
be your great value. Amen. Bye for now.